if they just stopped interest rates, if the US stopped interest rates here, over a while, the rate of change goes flat. Assets can do fine in that because remember, it's technology adoption that actually drives the price over the longer run. So it's the rate of change that's causing it. If the rate of change goes to zero and it flattens out, i.e. interest rates stay sticky, then the chances are that we just get the trend rate of adoption of the technology over time, which still gives it a 100% a year rise. Raul Paul in his latest interview explains why crypto is about to explode in 2023 due to the inevitable pivot of the Federal Reserve and the relentless adoption of cryptocurrency. With crypto getting battered throughout 2022 due to the Federal Reserve's constant rate hikes, Raul explains that the most likely scenario is only one more hike in early 2023, then a pause and potential pivot, meaning crypto is poised to perform very well over the next 12 months. Let's not forget, crypto is the fastest adopted technology we have ever seen being adopted at twice the pace of the internet. With the headwind of rising interest rates soon to be out of the way, the growth of the space can only head in one direction, upwards. Also, only a small percentage of my viewers are actually subscribed. If you enjoy finance content, consider subscribing or liking the video. It's free and you can always change your mind. Interesting enough, my peers were like, okay, this is interesting because macro people are curious by mm. nature. They want to know what this is. Is this an opportunity for me? And I explained to people, listen, I said, I've done the maths here badly because I'm not, I'm not a statistician. In fact, I st failed all my stats classes. But if I look at the gold above ground supply and the known reserves and apply that to Bitcoin, so it's called a stock to flow. I said, I think Bitcoin's worth a million dollars with gold at 1300 at the time. I, was, I then also said, oh, and I'm also an idiot, so I'll discount myself by 90%. So let's assume 100 grand is fair value. And it was $200. So I'm like, this is the best reward any of us are ever going to see in our entire careers. And everyone got it. But that's my global macro investor audience. These are sophisticated investors. So cut to the first video on Real Vision, when we mention Bitcoin. And it's like, it's a scam. It's ridiculous. You need to own gold. Remember, gold was at $1,300 back in 2000 and 12 and where is gold today just double checking gold today is $1600 bitcoin was at 200 <laughs> and now bitcoin today is at 20000 <laughs> but oh god on on real vision we got such pushback you know this is ridiculous how dare you you know there's a bunch of people who just didn't like it and over time you know i've been as you know very strong on this and over time people have left real vision because they didn't share that vision but you know, I think it proved pretty well that macro and crypto are all different facets of the same thing. They're all, one is the future of money and the future of the financial system, and maybe the future of all business models. And the other one is the decaying system. And that kind of pessimism, optimism actually works really well. It gives you lots of opportunity sets. So if you think about that technology, that gives it this exponential uptrend. So if you put a logarithmic chart, it's actually pretty smooth. What are the cycles driven by? It's driven by liquidity. The biggest driver of Bitcoin is global liquidity, not just the Fed liquidity. So if you use the global bank balance sheets year on year, what you find is that's the thing. So China's already starting to print. The UK is starting to change. I think Europe will be pretty soon. So I think that all we need is a turn. The rate of change needs to turn and crypto turns, which is why, you know, ETH bottomed in June. It's been looking forwards saying the cycle's turning. And I think it's right. Um, so I think the cycle's turning um, and it takes a while to play out. So people would call this crypto spring. You know, spring is a time where, you know, it rains a lot, it's cloudy a bit, sunny a bit, it's cold, it's warm. And that's exactly what the crypto market's like right now. It's just messy. But it's not really going down either. So it doesn't get colder every day. That's winter. So I think we're in crypto spring. And as liquidity changes, and I think that happens relatively soon because things are getting pretty ugly out there. The first part is the adoption of technology is relentless. It does not stop. It's not driven by the capital markets. The capital markets mean more entrepreneurs take a shot. Nobody gives a shit if the hurdle rate's 6%. Look at the hurdle rate in India. Inter look where Indian interest rates are. Where are they today? 7.5%. So 7.5% rates and how many entrepreneurs have you got? The entrepreneurs in India are going exponential. So it's a nonsense narrative that raising interest rates means that nobody does technology. Go back to the 70s. There was 
plenty of technology companies like Xerox that took over that period of time. So I don't believe that. I think the adoption of technology is exponential. Again, if you look at, if people want to understand what I'm talking about, look at India. Look at what happened after Aadhaar, India stack, UPI, and then the Cambrian explosion that happened there. It's astonishing. So let's go to crypto. Crypto right now is the fastest adoption of any technology the world has ever seen. It's twice the adoption speed of the internet. Increase in number of holders um, per year is faster than users of the internet um, in terms of growth from the first 5 million users. That's where I took it from. So crypto is still great. This year will be a, a much flatter year, but it was growing at an average at about 160% a year and the internet was growing about 80% a year. It's twice the speed. So we have never seen the technological adoption as fast as this. And so does interest rates stop that? No. Change in interest rates is the thing that stops it. That liquidity, remember it's year on year rate of change. What you don't want is interest rates to go from three and a half percent to 10% because that will not be a good investment then. <laughs>